In this video, you'll see how to manually add a member in MemberPress. You may want to add an individual to your site, like a friend or family member, for example, and grant access to a particular membership on your site. So, to manually add a member, from your WordPress dashboard, go to MemberPress and Members. Then, here at the top, click Add New. Now, this process is pretty self-explanatory, but see our Knowledge Base page, Manually Adding Members to Your Site, for some further information about these fields and things to know about this process. Manually adding a member here will add users to your WordPress site and associate them with a membership, making them a member. This can't, however, initiate any charges or create any automatic billing profiles. Adding a new member here will create two things, a user profile in WordPress and a transaction for the membership. So, I'll enter a username for the user, and just a note, this username can't be changed later. And I'll enter an email. Then, a first and last name. These two are optional. If I click Show Password, you can see that it generates a password for you, or you can enter your own. And one note about passwords. MemberPress can't send a user their password through email for security reasons. To get your new user their password, it's recommended that you copy the password here and manually send it to your user, like through email. Or you can edit your MemberPress welcome email found in the MemberPress settings to include instructions to go to your login page and use the forgotten password link to set their own. These instructions are also included in the user notification email that you can choose to send as well. Next to Membership, I'll select which of my memberships I want this user to have access to. Next, you see Send User Notification and Welcome Email. These are optional. When checked, the user notification will email the user their username and name of your site, but not a password. It'll also include a link to reset their password, too. And that email looks like this. And Send Welcome Email, when checked, will send your global welcome email set up in your MemberPress settings, which you can edit. Or, if you have a per-membership welcome email set up, it'll override your global welcome email and send that instead. Clicking Advanced here will bring up details of the initial transaction that's created to grant the user access to the membership you selected. I'm going to leave all these fields set to their default options. See our Knowledge Base page on manually adding a member to get a further explanation of what each of these are. But just to go over a few, the status must be set to complete in order for the user to have access to the membership. Expire sets the date that the user will lose access to the membership. Click Default to autofill an expiration date based on the membership selected, or leave the field blank or click Lifetime to grant lifetime access as to not have an expiration date. Then, to manually add the new member, click Create here at the bottom. You'll then be able to see the new member here on the Members page. And that's how you manually add a member in MemberPress. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.